author and intimacy expert Laura M. Brotherson, host of the Marital Intimacy Show, educates and inspires women to create a mutually fulfilling, intimate, and passionate marital relationship, emotionally, spiritually, and sexually. Hi there. Welcome to the Marital Intimacy Show, available at themaritalintimacyshow.com. My name is Laura Brotherson. Thanks for tuning in today. Well, we get to talk about sex again today. I mean, how fun is that? The title of this episode, number 33, is Body Image and Lovemaking, Part 1. So let's get started. The purpose today and in part two is to discuss how body image issues impact lovemaking. And then in the following episodes, we'll discuss more specifically how to make peace with your body. Okay, so many, if not most women, struggle with their body image, no matter how they look. This is obviously connected to one's self-image as well. Most women wish they could change a few things about their appearance, and given the unrealistic media comparisons that constantly bombard women, it can significantly affect one's intimate relationship, because the most important thing in lovemaking for a woman is what's going on inside her mind. I came across a study recently that just shows how hardwired women are for comparison and for and particularly negative comparison about their appearance, their size, their weight. It's a real struggle for women. They did a study on the brain scan, uh, MRIs, on women who didn't um, consciously have body image issues and felt like they looked good and, and were in good shape and and were in good shape. And they compared their brain scans to women with eating disorders who have very distorted body images and found that the brain scans were very similar in lighting up the part of the brain where self-reflection and comparisons occur. And, And it was kind of a little bit of a discouraging discovery to see that all women are susceptible to the that kind of conditioning. It's something that women really have to be aware of and and make an effort to keep those negative comparisons at bay. Okay, so obviously what a woman thinks about herself is key in how engaged she will be with her husband in lovemaking. It's important to understand that for a woman, feeling sexy is a state of mind. It's an attitude. It's the feeling that says, I like who I am, and I'm happy to share it with you. Sexy is not a certain size or a certain age. Marilyn Monroe was a size 14 and is still considered to be one of the sexiest women ever. So it's not about the size, but what you do with it that matters. Sexy is self-confidence. Sexy is accepting who you are and how you look and focusing on your positive features and thinking less about your negatives. I know many women who don't look anything like the media images of a sexy woman, yet they have accepted themselves and embraced their sexuality in spite of or regardless of their appearance. You don't need to wait until you lose 15 pounds to start feeling sexy. You can feel sexy now, and we'll talk more about how to do that in a following episode. So we've talked a little bit about how body image affects women and impacts lovemaking because of what's going on inside her mind and what she feels about herself and how she feels like she looks. That significantly affects how readily she is able to give herself to her husband in lovemaking. But let's talk now for just a minute about how these body image issues also impact our husbands maybe a little bit more specifically in lovemaking. So consider this. The visual aspect of lovemaking is very important to husbands. Men are visually wired. You know, I remember one couple where the wife had not allowed her husband to see her naked throughout their entire marriage. And I think they'd been married over 10 years. Can you just imagine what that would be like for both of them? 
For husbands, being able to see their wife's body in the course of lovemaking is an important part of the sexual experience. And when wives are so concerned with how they look and the wrinkles or the stretch marks or whatever their concerns are about their body, when they get focused on that, it's so difficult for them to let go and engage fully in the pleasure and sensuality of lovemaking. When women get so concerned about how they couldn't possibly be attractive to their husbands because they don't look just right, then it's pretty difficult for them to be able to give themselves sexually and fully engage themselves in the sexual experience. Husbands are so hungry for wives who who get it, who embrace sexuality, who let go of concerns about their imperfections and accept their themselves how they are. Certainly women want to do the best they can to look good and to be attractive, but the over-obsession with appearance and how they look just gets in the way of letting go and enjoying lovemaking with their husbands. And that's a real frustration for so many husbands. Husbands are just hungry for their wives to get the importance of sexuality in marriage and who are willing to be a sexually confident wife, not just for their sake, but for their wives' sake as well. This is not an easy thing for women to do. I think, as I've said, most women struggle with this. And and yet it's an important mental discipline, if you will, for women to work towards so that they can experience the greater joy and bliss that I think God intended for lovemaking and for just how, how women ought to feel about themselves, regardless of how they look. But I, I really believe women do the very best they can to look as good as they can. And it's difficult in our appearance-obsessed culture. So in part two, I'll share an email I got from a husband recently on this subject, and he shares an important message for all women. So be sure to stay tuned. Well, there you have it for now. I hope you can catch just a glimpse so far of how body image issues can wreak havoc in the sexual relationship of marriage. Stay tuned to part two on this topic for more insights on how body image issues impact lovemaking. This has been episode number 33, Body Image and Lovemaking, Part 1, on the Marital Intimacy Show with Laura M. Brotherson. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll be back next week with more great insights for strengthening your marriage. Be sure to check in at our website, strengtheningmarriage.com, to learn more about strengthening your marriage intimately. And if you haven't connected with us on Facebook yet, be sure to join us on our Marital Intimacy Show page and also our Strengthening Marriage Inc. page. Until next time, this is Laura Brotherson with the Marital Intimacy Show. Have a great day and make yours a great marriage.